Hello, this is Eric Haver with the Microsoft Surface team, and I'm here in Carlsbad, California at Internology, and I'm sitting here with Tim Huckabee. And Tim, why don't you introduce yourself? Well, I'm Tim Huckabee, and I'm the CEO of Internology. Uh, I hold the big title, but I'm a technical guy by trade. I'm an application developer by trade. Um, we have some brilliant people here that run the business, and uh, that that's uh, you know kind of why where what brings me here with you to surface because these is, this is one of those technologies that just I'm totally enamored by. Let's look at uh, we call this one Vitreview. Vitreview. And or Vitreview. I don't know what we call it. I in fact someone I think someone made up that word here. Uh, the unique thing that this this is is uh, unique like the Scripps app in that this is a production application or an application we already mm -hmm. built in WPF. Right. Um, that that. Um, uh, gives a, a view on the human heart and such, and and we said, ooh, you know, th these are brilliant folks here at Intermountain Healthcare, just a fantastic company, a great customer, and then we're using digital images from the Zygote folks, who who are the world's leader in in, in digital human anatomy and 3D and such. But anyways, the the purpose of this app is um, to document. Uh, essentially document a heart surgery or any type of, of surgery mm -hmm. like that or to, to frankly learn about the human anatomy or things like that. So we have integrated a number of Microsoft technologies here and Surface technologies. Uh, the first of which is, you know, the Surface is really good, very good at making things that are typically very difficult easy. Mm -hmm. One of which is authentication. We At Internology we've built authentication systems for years, right? Well, right. Uh, I've got, you know, my Microsoft vendor badge here, but on the back I have the a byte tag, and right. Surface recognizes the byte tag. You can see it saying, hey, if you want to authenticate on this thing, you need to put your badge on the Surface. Here we have a carousel control that we had to build. Uh, over here we had to build. It was probably really fun for Kevin and the and uh, uh, Travis and the guys to, to build this thing. And it's kind of like your own personal Rolodex as a doctor. Right, and, 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 and you just can't do that effectively with a mouse. Right. A carousel control is the be behavior, the gesture, right. as we call them at Surface, the gesture mm -hmm. is natural. But on right. a mouse, that's not an easy stroke. I mean, Grandma right. Huckabee couldn't do that for sure. Right. So I'm going to pick Linda here. And uh, notice we get another car carousel control over here, and here's all the different parts of the human anatomy. We're going to choose Linda's heart. This is going out to Microsoft Health Vault. Yeah, I saw the logo pop up there. So this is, is this two-way communication, or is it just pulling the data down? No, this is two-way. We're going to make annotations on Linda's heart here. Okay. And uh, that's going to be saved, persisted wow. in the health dot health fault database up in the cloud and this this isn't smoke and mirrors I mean it's actually doing it okay so here we have a view of Linda's heart now it's important to note we're not steering scalpels here this right. isn't virtually operating right. on something the surface does not you know cut into humans right. and right. things like that we're effectively documenting a heart surgery so you can see that we we've tied the real images real meaning this is clearly as pay, test data right but the right. real images taken from Linda's heart two places uh, where the doctor did his or her work. Um, let's pretend I'm a doctor for a second and I know what the heck I'm talking about okay. in this world. Every human heart is unique, as you'd imagine. Right. Uh, we have a template of the heart here. Uh, essentially, uh, what a doctor would come in and do and say, it would say, okay, you know, Linda's artery looked like this. Right. And I placed a stint. In this world, they have stints. I always get this backward. I think stints to prop up the artery and lesions to pull them down. So we placed a stint on Linda's heart, and this is what I did. And you can type technically while I'm doing my work because it is multi touch. See how you are typing. And you're a hen pecker, I can see. Yeah, I normally would type a little better, but I'm still getting used to this. <laughs> right, uh, the format. virtual keyboard, um, right. which is an important thing about the Surface. Well, I think it, I think it is because it, it's not something where you're going to sit for you know eight hours a day and doing all your email on Surface. That's not what it's meant yeah. for. We're never um, going to do. Hopefully, 
Yeah. We're never going to do crud on the surface. Yeah. This app and the apps that you've seen before are talking to the same backend right. systems that our ASP.NET or our WinForms or our WPF yep. applications are talking to. Yep. So you can do your crud on the computer. It still right. appears here. Well, it's just it's a matter of what is contextually relevant way to do it. If you have a short note and it means not going over to your PC, then you have the ability to do it on here. Hopefully at some point in the future, it'll be between their PC, their mobile device, their you know, everything is tied together and it's up to the selection in terms of context what makes the most sense to, to enter information. Exactly. Okay, so continuing on with this application, uh, we've added a stent to this gal. I'm going to turn the interior of the heart on and the exterior off oh, cool. and suddenly we're on the inside of the heart oh, and, that's awesome. and you, you can annotate on the inside of the right. heart just as easily is on the exterior. Another important point to make here is, you know, this this is a pre-rendered digital image, and we're wrapping our three, our WPF 3D engine around it. But uh, look at how it performs. I mean, it's yeah. it's lightning. That's now, great. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to tell you what's the aorta or not, but we can pretend like it's that. We can technically zoom right into the aorta. And zoom oh, that's out. cool. Isn't that yeah, sweet? That's really great. Yeah, and then when we're done, you know, we quit and everything saves back up to health fault. Right. Effectively documented the heart surgery. Now they can pick, they can pull this patient up right. on the WPF version of the application. My dream. My dream, the true production version of this application would mean inside the firewall, they've got the WPF app and they're doing the CRUD stuff and they're doing all that. The doctors are here doing the analysis and they, be, they may be teaching from it or actually talking to a patient. Mm -hmm. But if you're the patient, my dream is you're at home and you bring up the Silverlight version of it and you have a, a detailed documentation right. in 3D of what the doctor did to you. Right. That, that, as a patient, yeah. I want that. Yeah. I think the world needs that. So that's my yeah. dream to build this application out to that, where it's platformed over numerous, numerous types of applications and ways to show it and such. So yep. that is uh, the short version of the Vitruview application. That is excellent. I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure.